talk about Odell really quick. Uh, Odell Beckham obviously was kicked off a plane recently. And for those that are listening on the podcast, if you go to our YouTube, you can go to the full podcast section here at like the 55 minute mark and you'll see the video on the screen. Um, he was kicked off a plane, but the body cam came out today for the first time. And I think this was like, what, two weeks ago, George? Oh, it says it on the top, actually. Um, oh, it was on November 27th. November 27th, yeah. So, like six weeks ago. Uh, he got kicked off. The cops seemed to say that he seemed fine, but the reports were saying that he had his pants off before the cops came and he wouldn't put on a seatbelt and all these different things. I just want to know, where do you stand on all this? Okay, I, I've been thinking about it deeply, so deeply, man. Um, I think Odell was wrong. I think the stewardess were also wrong. I think the only people who got it right were actually the police officer. They said it was a fire department. Uh, rewatching that video is that Odell probably didn't do anything too, too, too bad, but he could have easily diffused this whole situation, not made it a fucking media frenzy by just saying, Oh, because at the end, like if you put on, we need him to put on a seatbelt. He won't put on a seatbelt. Like just put it on and let's get this plane moving. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have to be this big of a diva. Like I, maybe he didn't do anything wrong at the beginning. But if I was not doing so, something wrong and then someone's just like, all right, we, everyone's going to have to get off. The, I'll just put on my seatbelt and get this whole situation over with. So I don't actually think Odell was that wrong. I think if I was to rank the wrongness, it would be the uh, flight attendants, number one, wrong. Odell number two wrong, and then the police or fire number three wrong. But he could have diffused the situation. Well, fire, the fire department, whatever police have nothing to do with it, really. Right, but I mean, they're all the three people involved, so they're the ones. No, I know, not. but they have nothing to do with it because, like, they just were told to come. They're like, "Yeah, he's fine." And then it's really between the the, the flight attendants and Odell. Um, I, I'm going to stay on Odell's side for a second because. I know myself. I know people like you too, George. We could be hotheads if we're being treated wrongly. I've seen it with my own eyes from both of us. If someone's treating you very wrong, if you were going to get kicked off of a plane for doing nothing, you might be pissed. Um, I would be very pissed. Exactly. So I feel like he was trying to make a point, but I will go on. I'll, I will end it with what you said as well. At the end of the day, maybe I would have made a point for like 10 minutes. And then they're like, we're going to deboard this plane if you don't just put on your seatbelt. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to put it on. But I want to let you all know, fuck you. <laughs> or I just tell you all, I'm not, I just know I'm not happy with it. I, honestly, it's like one of those things. Like maybe Odell wasn't completely in the wrong, but he definitely wasn't in the right either. Yeah, and you can read on the screen with the subtitles. Like they just he just came they're saying he just came back from the club. So he must have been hammered, which yeah, also probably. puts him a little bit in the wrong because you can't make the right decision when you're that drunk and you're a public figure. I'm not saying it's wrong to go on a plane when you're drunk. I've done it. I've also made stupid decisions. But it is a stupid decision to go on a plane like right after being at the club in Miami. Probably it looks like it's daytime now. Yeah, so, he probably was at liver space and came straight. It's 9 a.m., I think. So it's like he's still hammered, not listening. So he probably has some wrong there. But at the end of the day, it seems like he was kind of getting kicked off for mm -hmm. not that big of a reason. Uh, and it was for the seatbelt. And I feel like if there's probably, there probably could have been an easier way to deflate the situation. But he, it seems like maybe the flight attendants were bitches to him. So he was like trying to be a dick back when he wouldn't All right, here, especially. Here's a good question for you. Let's just say Odell did come straight from the club right to the airplane, which is what they're saying he did. Do you think, I mean, it's better to go straight from the club hammered, right? Than come after the next day hungover. I'd rather, I'd rather fly and go through security hammered than fly through security. And well, go for through him, security. sure, but it doesn't make it better for the situation. No, I'm <laughs> saying for yourself, would you rather go? Yeah, in obviously, that's the easy yeah. answer. Yeah. Everyone I mean, knows that. There's a reason people drink on international flights. Yeah. So they're not, they're not trying to undrink on international flights yeah so yeah odell i i actually kind of like the move coming straight from the club to the airplane i'm gonna actually defend him on that part okay sure but that was the exact reason why this all happened so, right absolutely so it's actually a stupid decision technically. like i said we all make stupid decisions i've made stupid decisions doesn't mean they're right sure yeah, fair, that's how you have fair. to look at life sometimes gotta be logical here george he's obviously it was obviously a stupid decision by him. But 
It is what it is. Seems like everyone involved was kind of being dicks, including the flight attendants and him. So next time, just fly private if you have the money. Because he said after that, that guy was walking by, he was like, whatever fat ass, I'm going to fly private now. Like, well, you go eat your chicken burger. No, <laughs> your cheese board. Cheese board. But he had a point because the guy was being a dick to him too. But the, every, see, my point is everyone involved is being a dick. That's why yeah, I'm really yeah, not blaming anybody. Everyone was being wrong. I, I think everyone was wrong here. Okay, everyone's in the wrong. 